Hello, welcome to your weekly insights through the cards. My name is Mika Leon Pettit, and this is for the week of September 4th to the 10th. Moon mansions are in Taurus, Gemini, and Cancer. This week may begin with you looking for stability in your resources and even your body. It may be a challenge to feel grounded and stable at the time, but know this will pass if you set a solid foundation for your health and for your financial future. It's not all about the material, but how you use what you manifest into the physical plane to feel secure, even in times of turbulence and change. By midweek, the air is lighter and you may be in the mood for more socializing and getting out locally. Speak from the heart and not so much from the knowledge you've accumulated and see how others open up to you. By the end of the week, staying in, snuggling with your loved ones or creating something fun to do around the home may be your thing. You can create a space where everyone feels loved, heard, and taken care of. Moon Mansion energies are like internal drives and conscious awareness should be brought to them to utilize these energies effectively. The Oracle, Durga, Boundaries. Knowing where you begin and end when it comes to your environment and others can be important now. Have you checked in lately to see if you are on your path with your own goals and dreams or on you on someone else's agenda? Are you being clear about your needs or does someone need to make their boundaries clear with you when it comes to space or what they're willing to accept in relation to you? Boundaries help to make all parties feel free to be themselves and respected. Astro Gem number one, Aquasito in the fifth house. There is expansion in the house of fun, dating, outdoor adventures, and children. There are new urges coming through and it is a good time to act on them. Whether it's going on a date you have been questioning, changing up your routine to have a little more fun, or getting the kids out for a day trip. It is time to explore and seek new experiences that will challenge you to expand and grow. Amethyst relieves stress, fear, and anxiety. It promotes inner harmony while activating spiritual awareness, opens intuition, and enhances psychic abilities. Astrogen number two, Rubius in the eighth house. It is our own house this week and in Pluto and Mars rulership. The need to dive deep when it comes to you, your life, and all in it will come to the forefront, especially after the middle of the week. There could be some power plays between you and others, so it's important to use your and wield your power with responsibility to the repercussions that can take place if misused. If this time is used wisely for true soul searching within yourself and others, magic and transmutation into something positive is the gift that it brings. Bloodstone heightens intuition and increases creativity. Bloodstone strengthens the relationship with the root chakra, but it also works wonders when it comes to the heart chakra. The crystal card, Rhoda Knight. A stone of compassion, an emotional balancer, and clears away emotional wounds and scars from past, and that nurtures love. It stimulates and clears and activates the heart chakra. This is what flowed through. I hope it helps you plan your week for the best possible outcomes.